I went to law school, I knew I wanted to be a prosecutor. Uh, as a child, as cliche as it sounds, I always watched Law & Order um, with my mom and my grandparents, and that was something I, I just thought was so cool, how you know the um, prosecutors there fought you know, for the community, and in my mind, going into law school, that's what I wanted to do. There was no other type of law I wanted to practice. best parts about being a prosecutor. I love when I can get justice for the victims. So um, whether that be by trial or sometimes by plea, um, I, I love that feeling of being able to help them. And when I see that look on their face, that's, that's the best feeling for me. I guess the most difficult parts about being a prosecutor would be, for me, just being exposed uh, to, you know, the worst parts of life, really. Um, on a fairly routine basis, you know, we, we sort of bury it down, but occasionally we have a chance to step back and look at it and go, wow, this is, this is heavy, and um, sometimes that's hard to deal with. I would say any victim driven crime are, are the ones that impact me the most. Um, so we try a myriad of cases, you know, anything from drugs to guns, uh, but I, I like I like the victim driven cases. That's where I feel like I, I get the most, I get the best feeling of seeking justice for the victims. I have always been told that prosecutors get by, by some victims who don't want to prosecute, that prosecutors get compensated in some way for bringing charges. I've heard that multiple times. Not so much in this jurisdiction, um, but that's not true. <laughs> um, so, you know, we oftentimes, you know, take cases that are very challenging and difficult and, and we'll sometimes bring those charges in spite of, you know, the victim's wishes because we feel like having a consequence for the behavior of that individual is, is going to be justice. 